This is my default WooCommerce archive page and as you see it only contains a sale badge. In this video I'm going to show you how to create the custom badges and display them on your archive sites in a way like this. As you see instead of showing sale product I'm gonna show the discount percentage up to minus 20 percent. If the product is a featured product then there is a featured badge here and if the product is newer than 30 days then there is a new badge here. This is for the archive pages, but on the single product page, it shows up like this, as you see. Sale badge, new badge, featured badge, and I'm going to show you how to add additional custom badges. For example, free shipping, top product. And it works in a way that if I check this checkbox here, this free shipping is shown. If I would like to add some kind of badge with a text, then there is a text box here. So if you're interested then jump in because setting it up is really easy, it's gonna take only a couple of minutes. So this is our starting point and therefore let's start with adding a plugin. This part here is optional because I'm gonna add this plugin in order to add some code snippets. If you're familiar with child teams and if you're familiar with editing functions PHP file then you can skip this part. But I'm gonna use a plugin called code snippets. I'm going to install and activate it and after that I'm going to go to the left and click on add new. So first I'm going to tweak this sale badge here in a way that instead of sale text it's going to show me the percentage. Therefore I'm going to give it the title sale price percentage badge and now I'm going to paste the snippet here this one. The link to the snippets I'm going to show you in this video is in the description of this video so take a look at it. So what this will do, it will activate the percentage badge and it also works with a variation price. It's gonna display maximum discount value. Now I'm gonna select only run on site front end, save changes and activate. Let's refresh the page. And as you see, up to 20%. If you would like to change the text, then replace this part here, up to, for example, I'm going to delete this, save it, refresh it, and now it's minus 20%. But I like the up to part here because I'm using the variations. Now I'm going to tweak this badge a bit. Therefore, I'm going to go to the customizer. I'm going to open up additional CSS and I'm going to paste this CSS here. This before and this after will add those corners here if you don't want it then you don't have to use it also if I would like to rotate it a bit then I can do this then I'm gonna change the top value here for example 32 pixels and left minus 30 pixels you can tweak it in a way you like I'm gonna leave it, it as it is right now and that means it's time for a second badge. This time I'm going to add a new badge for the products that are newer than 30 days. Once again, I'm going to go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, new badge, paste the snippet, run snippet everywhere this time, save changes and activate, refresh. But you don't see any new badge here, therefore I'm going to go to the customizer once again. Open up additional CSS and paste this part here. Now this part here depends on your team because I'm using the Bloxy team. Therefore, I'm going to add CT card extra class here. If I don't do that, then it's not showing up in a place I would like it to show. As I said, it depends on your team where you would like to output it. This one here is for archive pages and this one here is for single product page. So if I open it up, it's going to show up here. I'm going to publish it and let's test it. So there it is. Open it up and it's here. Okay, next let's add the featured product patch up here. Once again, go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, featured product patch, paste the snippet, if you would like to change the text, then change this text here, featured here and featured here. Maybe you would like to show the top product or, or whatever text on the patch. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. 
and if you go to the front end then this is the badge here let's customize it a bit open up the customizer and additional css this piece of css here it will move the featured badge on the image below the sale badge and if there is no sale badge then it's just looking like this here as you see so let's publish it once again this part is for archive pages this part is for single product page just replace the styling in a way you would like it to be let's see whether it worked well there it is and there it is featured and new badges all done for the archive pages now let's add two custom snippets here and this means we're gonna add a new snippet here once again click on add new give it the title for example checkbox patch and paste this snippet here i'm gonna explain in a minute what will it do i'm gonna choose run snippet everywhere and save changes and activate now i'm gonna go to the products page i'm gonna open up for example this golden lamp product and as you see there is a checkbox here display free shipping patch if i check it and update it and view product you'll see that there is a free shipping badge you can change the text as you like just change this part here nothing else here to configure except the location of this badge and that means we're gonna take a look at the woocommerce hooks here this woocommerce single product summary is a hook we're gonna use and that means this badge is gonna locate here but how do you know what hooks the woocommerce is using well, if you're using Ploxy team and you're using the pro version of it, then take a look at the hooks locations up here. Show WooCommerce hooks and just select the one you like here. If you don't have it and you're using some other team, then go to Google and search for Business Bloomer Visual Hooks Guide. Then open up the single product page and those are the hooks you can use. I'm using the single product summary, but I can use any other hooks here. One more thing, take a look at the priority up here. This is priority 7. If I change it to 1 and save changes, now if I refresh it, then it's moved up here. I'm going to change it back to 7. Now the previous snippets we used, for example, this new badge here, Let's take a look at the new badge. It's also using hooks. As you see, this is for the single product page and this is for the archive page. Where can you find the archive page visual hooks? Once again, for the Bloxy Pro version, just activate the WooCommerce hooks here. If you don't have it, then go to Google Business Bloomer Visual Hooks Guide and there is an archive page guide here. Just select the one you would like to use. Now when this is out of the way, we would like to customize this badge here. Therefore, I'm going to go to the customizer, open up the additional CSS, and I'm going to add this piece of CSS here. Couple of things to point out. First, this part here adds a spacing between the label and the price. This is the background. If you would like to add a border, some kind of, for example, black border, you can do that here. Just play with these settings here and you're good to go. I'm going to publish it, refresh it. Let's edit the product also. I'm going to add a free shipping patch, update, view product, and there it is. Now I'm going to add a text patch. That means I'm going to go to the snippets add new give it the title for example custom batch version 2 text paste this piece of code here and once again this part here displays the badge at single product page just uh, enter the hook location you would like to use now run snippet everywhere save changes and activate i'm gonna go to the product page this one demo product i'm gonna open it up and as you see there is a badge text text box here let's enter some kind of text top product for example update it view product 
and it's down below here doesn't look any good therefore I'm gonna tweak it a bit let's open up the customizer once again additional CSS paste the CSS and there you go now those two labels are side by side they are displayed in line if you don't want to show them in line then delete this line here and this line here but that means you have to add the badge width here also and you should play with some margins and paddings and so on I'm gonna leave it as it was before that means inline I'm gonna publish it close it down to see whether it worked on the front end yes it is so percentage patch free shipping patch text patch new badge and feature patch five custom badges with a couple of snippets now one important thing I would like to point out though all the customizations you do all the WooCommerce hooks locations and custom CSS you're using it depends on your team I'm using the Bloxy team but if I use the same snippets and same styling for the Cadence team then as you see it doesn't look as it looks for the Bloxy team the colors are different sail badge is in a different position and so on I would have to play with my custom CSS and also for the single product page as you see it looks a bit different this is an important part you should know so if you're using any other team and it doesn't look as it looks on my video then play with a custom CSS now since we're already talking about the WooCommerce hacks then I have made a video about the single product page hacks and the archive page hacks in these videos I'm using similar simple snippets to add the functionality to the WooCommerce so if you're interested then take a look at those two videos you see on the screen right now now before you go let me know in the comments how did you like the video and meanwhile take care